Hello and welcome. This is the Cybersecurity and Information Systems Information Analysis Center, or CSIAC. And today we are revisiting previously popular CS Digest topics and providing an update. At the end of July, Lieutenant General Stephen Quass, commander of Air University at Maxwell Air Force Base, and an Auburn University professor spoke of the importance of implementing the newly announced cyber curriculum at Air University. This implementation comes in the wake of the release of the Air Force's strategic master plan in May this year. The master plan provides direction and strategy for present and future Air Force efforts. Specifically, the strategic master plan identifies and prioritizes five strategic areas of investment, institutional change, and operational concepts for the Air Force. Number one, provide effective 21st century deterrence. Number two, maintain a robust and flexible global intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capability. Number three, ensure a full-spectrum capable high-end focus force. Number four, pursue a multi-domain approach to our five core mission areas. And number five, continue the pursuit of game-changing technologies. Without a doubt, cyber education and training will play an essential role for these areas. More recently, Lieutenant General Stephen Quass participated in a panel with Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, Daniel R. Sitterly, and the Director of Plans and Integration, Michelle Losolis. The purpose of this panel was to discuss the future path for training and growth of the Air Force. Lieutenant General Stephen Quass was not scared to identify some of the present and near future issues the Air Force faces. He stated, when you take a look at our structures right now, all airmen must know culturally that we design things that are adaptable, flexible, resilient, affordable, and yet most of the architectures we have in command and control, in space and in air are expensive, struggle with adaptability, struggle with flexibility because they're all stovepipes that are sewn together on the battle space, creating a very intricate series of miracles required to get that bomb on target, which is not a bad thing when you can afford it and no one is really testing you, but someday we will be tested. General Quas went on to further his point and state, we've built very elegant solutions that are very expensive because nobody else could compete. Also in September, the Air Force published Future Operating Concept, a view of the Air Force in 2035. This document stresses the importance of operational agility and how it applies to the Air Force's missions. Additionally, uh, it identifies future core mission functions and how airmen will become leaders in this domain. Cyber education is critical in achieving the Air University's stated mission. We produce the future. We launch leaders of character, educated to think critically, strategically, and jointly to master and deliver superior air power in support of national security objectives. Found here is a list of all our sources. If you would like additional information on this topic, or you would like the CSI Act to follow up on a specific topic, feel free to contact us with your suggestions. Please direct all feedback and suggestions to www.csiac.org slash discussion slash digest dash suggestions. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day.